Hey everybody, it's Miss Beeman. Um, I wanted to take a couple minutes today to show you how to put a book on hold very specifically, okay? Um, so this is something that you might wanna do um, if you have a certain book in mind that you know you wanna check out from the library, you don't need to browse around and you just wanna be able to stop in, pick the book up um, and then do whatever else you need to do. Um, so if you put a book on hold using our online catalog, Destiny, we will pull the book off the shelf for you, check it out to you and have it waiting for you at the circulation desk. Okay. So in order to do that, um, we're gonna need to log into Destiny. So to get there, um, you'll start at your school's homepage. I'm using Heritage's as an example um, today, but if you go to Freedom or to Liberty, you just go to your own school's homepage and follow exactly the same steps. They look the same, okay? Um, so from the homepage, we're gonna go to the Academics drop-down menu Go down where it says library, and that will take you to our library website. Okay. From there, you're going to go over here on uh, the right side of the page where it says books and ebooks. Click there. And then we want the link right under the video that says online catalog. That's where we need to go, is into the online catalog where we can look up books. And our online catalog is called this. Okay. You just click there and then wait a second for Destiny to open up, okay? Now, this particular video is not going to tell you all about Destiny. It's only going to tell you how to put a book on hold. Um, if you want a video all about Destiny, all the different things that it does and that you can do with Destiny, go back to that books and ebooks page on our library website and watch the tutorial video up at the top. And it gives you all the in-depth stuff about Destiny. This is just a shorter video to show you how to put things on hold. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is log in in the upper right hand corner. Okay. Um, and you can see there is a link right up here that says log in. I was already logged in, so now I'm logging out so you can see it. Okay, so it says log in up here in the upper right corner. Um, and if you click there, you're going to get a login screen. Mine looks a little bit different than yours because I'm a teacher and not a student. Your username is going to be your student ID number. Okay, so you can type your student ID number in where it says username, and your password is going to be your birthday. Okay, so you have to type your birthday in in a very specific way, and it's kind of backwards from what you're probably used to. Um, first, you put in the four-digit year, okay? So if you were born in 2005, you would put in 2005, and then you put in the two-digit month. So if your birthday was in January, you would put in 01. And then you put in the two digit date. So if your birthday was January 5th, you would put in 05. Okay. So if your birthday was January 5th, 2005, you'd put in 2005 for the year, 01 for the month, and 05 for the day. Once you've done that, go ahead and click submit, and that will log you in. Okay. Now you can log in at any point in this process. It's just easier if you do it right off the bat. Okay. Now from here, we have to actually locate the book that we want. Okay. So you might already know exactly which book you want, in which case you're going to wanna click up here um, in the upper right corner again, where the magnifying glass is, the search icon. Click up there and it will take you to a search screen where we can um, type in the name of the book um, that you want. So let's say we want to do, um, the hate you give, we can type that in. And there we got our results, okay? Um, so we have a couple different copies of this. We're gonna click on one of them, okay? The second one over here, if you look, you see it has a little E on the green tab here. That one's an ebook, okay? And if you click on this, it'll tell you that. Um, we don't want the ebook. The ebook you can check out, um, you know, on your own and, and read on your phone or what have you. But for this video, we want the print book. So we're gonna we're gonna click over here, and it actually opens up the record for the book. And right there is the hold button. And so all we need to do is click on the hold button, and that will put it on hold for us. Okay. Now, um, once you've done that, um, the book will be placed on hold for you. However, it is always possible that there are other people who put the book on hold in front of you, okay? And we just haven't gotten the book checked out to them yet. 
Um, you never want to put a book on hold that is already checked out, um, not if you want to pick it up right away. Okay, um, if it's for like a class project and you have to have the book right away, don't put one on hold that's already checked out because it means that somebody else already has it and um, you won't be able to get it until they're done. Now, if it's a book that you really want to read just for yourself and you're willing to wait until that person is done, then it's totally okay to put a book on hold that's checked out. But if it's for a class project and you need it right away, only take um, one that is in and that has the, the green tab right here on the, the cover, okay? So once you've put that book on hold, there's one more thing that you need to do before you come pick up your book, and that is check your student email address. When I say your student email address, I mean your email address um, in Outlook, that is your student ID number at luhsb.net, okay? Um, that's the email address that we will use to contact you to let you know that your book is either ready or to let you know if there is a problem um, with you uh, picking up your book. For example, somebody else already has it on hold um, and so we can't save it for you. Or we went to the shelf and it wasn't there because somebody took it um, and so you need to pick another book. Okay. So before you come in and um, pick up your book, check your email address just to make sure that everything is okay and your book is ready for pickup. Um, we don't have your personal email addresses. I know almost all of you have a Gmail address or something like that. We in the library do not know what your personal email addresses are, so we can't email you there. We have to email you at your school email address, so make sure you check that one. Okay. All right, once you've done that, then your book will be placed on hold. You can check your email um, and then you can come in and pick it up. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do, um, perhaps you don't know what book you want yet. Um, maybe this is a class project. Okay. Um, if that's the case, then you might want to go up here to this link that says collections. Collections are basically book lists and we've put together book lists for a lot of um, the class projects that are done at your school. Okay, so you'll see when you log in here, um, different um, book lists that are listed. Many of them are associated with different class projects. Um, others are just books that might interest you. Okay, um, so if you see one um, this way, you can look um, at the different lists, um, open them up by clicking on them. And if you find a book that you wanna check out on one of the um, lists, and you want to put it on hold, all you need to do is check, um, click on the cover. And then once that opens up, you'll get the record for the book that has hold. And it'll look very similar to what we saw with the hate you give. Okay, so if I wanted to put this one on hold, um, I could click right here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it's not a complicated process. Um, we just ask that you remember to check your email address to make sure everything's ready before you come in and actually pick up the book. If you do have any questions, um, you can um, go back over here to our library website and um, on the home page, the welcome page, you click right up here where it says welcome. Um, there is a chat box where you can chat with us um, and let us know if you have any questions. If the chat isn't available for some reason, you can also email me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Okay, I hope that helps you out. If you wanna know more about Destiny, as I said earlier, refer to our full Destiny tutorial video um, and um, you'll find more information there. Okay, uh, let us know if you have any questions and we hope you enjoy your books.